you know, entire industrial complex, you know, taking that, those efforts into other things like, you know, green energy and so forth. This is, I mean, look, this is a unique role that the commander in chief has. You know, these are things that I've been uh, speaking out about and trying to do while, while I've served as a member of Congress, but as commander in chief, you have the ability to actually uh, bring our troops home. We've got to bring our troops home from Afghanistan. We should have brought them home a long time ago. Uh, right now, we still, as taxpayers, are spending $4 billion every month in Afghanistan. $4 billion. And that expense is coming both from the DOD, uh, Department of State, and a number of other agencies. Um, unfortunately, Afghanistan deals with a lot of corruption within their own government. So we don't even know where those, are those dollars actually getting to the Afghan people who we're trying to help? Most of them, I believe, are not. There's different reports that, and assessments and audits that have been done pointing out that corruption that only the Afghan people can demand uh, change to, to fix that, to improve the situation there. So looking at where all of our troops are, looking at making the security assessments and, and uh, bringing our troops home if they're not serving on missions that actually serve our, our national security interests. Uh, the cost of war that we're talking about is not only contained within the Department of Defense budget, but um, there are uh, expenses that are going into these ongoing conflicts and the follow-on nation building across many other departments within our government. So taking the resources, once we stop these expenditures, bring down the cost, and instead rededicate them towards serving the real needs that we have. Uh, if you remember back when the Cold War, um, when the original Cold War had ended, uh, there was a lot of talk about the peace dividend, the peace dividend that was created then, right? This is, this is what I'm talking about here. When, you, um, when we end these regime change wars, make sure that we're not entering any new ones, work to end this new Cold War and arms race, we are creating a peace dividend of our taxpayer dollars that will go towards meeting the many and urgent pressing needs of our people.